Kama abere na mwe, ibi gambo, ibi tukufu, ibi okusibu labafu mukanisa. Aba ine bitabe ibi okusaba, tunabi kuluwa kulupapula, olwe bibiri mwe nkaga mwomu samfu. Mukama wafe Yesu Kristo ya yogera, mungiri yomu tukufu yokana, esula eye kumine mu. Nolu njiri yolo abiri mweta anuna gamba buwati. Nti nze kuzukira nubula mu. Akiri zanze ni wankuba denga afude. Aliba mulamu. Na buli mulamu wakili zanze talifa. E mirembe ne mirembe. Umuduwa ya mkama yubu. Na yugira musule yuku mino muenda. Nga agamba anti manyingo mununizu wanga. Aba mulamu. Elali imirida kunsie yenko merilo. Elandi laba. Eredi bali umbiri kwange. Beliri mala okuzikilizu wa bweri tiyo. Na ye umbiri kwange. Ndida bakatonda. Gwendi laba anze mweni na maso gange. Gali mutunulira sosi mulala. Abo Luganda, tetuwale tachintu na chimu kuhunsi, kubange ila tatu inza kujamu chintu. Mukama ya wa, ila mukama ya jao, ili nyari ya mukama, liye baziwe. Nga tuchai miride, katuwe gaili li nga tukosebi gambe yabana bakatonda, musale ya chitafu alimuguru, nga tugama chitafe alimuguru. Ili nyari oli tukuziwe, waka waka wabu je, Biyo ya gala bikolibwe mwusi, nga wibikolibwa mguru, otuwelele mele ya fe ya alero, otusonywe okonona kwa fe, nga nafi otusonywa abatu onona. Totutuwa ala mkukeme buwa, na ye otuloko limububi, kubango buwa kabaka, nobu inza, nwe chichibwa, bibyo, emirembe ne emirembe, amina. Hira waliwe bigambe, vitu za muama, nyebya zabuli abili mwesa tu. Katuja atule nga tugamba anti mukama ye musumba wange. Seta agenga. Angala miza mudundire liyo mudo muto. Antu wala kumabali agama za matefu. Nakubadenga antambuli ya mchumbe chikisikrize cholumbe. Siriti ya kabiko na. Kubanga gwe olina ange. Ulugalu na umu gogo vye vinsa nyusa. Untekele tekele meza mumaso gabala bebange. Onsize ya mafuta kumutwe. Echikompe change chika. Obulu unjine chisa. Inaku zona izobula mubu wangi. Iwa achiveli chitafe. Neri omwana. Neri omu yomutukufu. Nga wechari uliberiberie. Wechiri nekakano. Wechiri ba. Emirembe na emirembe. Nja kubasa wa mutule. Tuulirize bia wandikibwa. Ebi tukufu. Tuli mungiri ngao ya wandi ikiwa yokana umutukufu. Esula ye kuminenya tuja kutandi kila kuru njiriri orusoka. Tuli kubonji buye mpapula lukumi muma kumi ya tano. Ayo gira wati umutima kwa mwetegwela li kiriranga mukirize katonda ila nange mwuzikirize. Nyumba ya chitange mulimu ebifo binchi ebyokubera mu singa te chiri bwe chitiyo 
nandi bagambye kubanga nyendo kubatekera tekera echifo olunyoro okusatu ero banga ngendo kubatekera tekera echifo ndiko maona te nemba twala jendi nze jendi namwe ubereyo Thomas na mugamba nti mukama wafe tetumanyi jogenda ekubo tulimanyi tutia Ronyoro mukaga Yesu na mugamba nti nze kubo na mazima no bulamu twali ajja eri kitange wabula ngaita munze singa muntegede ne kitange mwandi mumanye Okusoka kakano mute, mutege, mutegera umutegera era mumulabiye Filipo na mugamba anti mukama wafe tulage kitafe kale china tumala Yesu na mugamba anti kasoke dembera namwe ebiro ebinji webityo era tontegeranga Filipo alabye kunze ngalabye kitange chichi ekikogeza ekikogeza gwenti tulage kitafe olunyure 10 yangala lusemba yo tokiriza nganze ndi mu kitange ne kitange ali munze ebigambo bye ebigambo byemba gamba nze sibyogera kubwange enze ka na ye kitange bwabera munze akola emirimu je ekitundu chikomyao tikute tende reza nyo yesu holy mwana gwandiga omsa omsa Unaziza neza Kale nsabulu imbo lotu demu tulu imbe Nga tusibula ezira buli omungo waniso mkono go guadio omu uvira Kuwanga ezira chugenda kudamu mula wako kuhunsi okujiako muguru Elatu kakasa tibasi nka nyeda neta atabu nyezi And I believe ezira has got a very good reception in heaven Tukute tende reza Yesu Oli mwana bani Omulunji Omsaigo kunaziza Nebaza Nebaza Eya Nunula Nange Eya Mpo Nyawa echi sa chinji Yesu ankuma ansa Nange ni vaza omulu Kale tenda tukute Deleza nyo Yesu Oli mwana gwandiga Oli Omsai guna guli na mani. Omulo katukubire komu kama mungalo orobrambwa ezira. Praise the Lord. Mukama eva zwe. Basi bonye banya bomo chisera chini njaga la. Munegate ko tuani dize. Omula bizi obula bizi bomo chani ya umula. Bishop Emeritus Wilson Mutebi, awamu ne mama. Atenga banubata ambula nyo, nebabu nye nyezi, irama nyibi inji, mukama yebaziwe. Sebo Bishop Tusaniso Kulaba, njagala okutusa, ama ulide kufo elio mula bilizivu, mula bilizivu no, the right reverend Dr. James Bukomeko, ensonga zino yazitege debulu unji, Na ya ine milimweje nja ulojia chaliko Esawa yonage nda kutuwe gatako Mukama yeba ziwe Njagala okuaniliza Mukade wafe Reverend Canon 
Pedro ni sema ambo. Umusumba wechwese ya umula. Mkubi liko mungalo. Ate ilanga ya chapra ini umula vilizono. Njaga loku aniliza. Umana wa mwe. Muganda wa mwinda. Kampala dayo sisi. Mida kosevo. Bukoto. Mukama yeba zibwe. Pakati wano tuina wabubulizi. Kamba banjuri lombulizi Ambrose Zono wa St. John's Church of Uganda. Butumbizi na mutamba. Umubulizi Grace mukanisa ya wali eva chijulula. Umubulizi na sazi mukanisa ye chetume. Umubulizi mchala kato mukanisa ye ruomfu. Umubulizi maka mugambwa mukanisa ye chetume. Umubulizi makumbi kanisa ye nero ndede. Mbulizi nulu, odeta, mkanisa ya All Saints Church, usisira. Mbulizi makumbi, mkanisa ya Uyaga Church of Uganda. No mbulizi rusi, okufa mkanisa ya Chiwudia. Manya gangenze venalevo Frederick Chironde, sabadi nkone, wabu sabadi nkone, wena mutamba. Chitalo nyo, chitalo dala. Nchisera chino, njaga loku yita, e kanisa jire kwa makowa no, E msoje, wali wabia tuagalo kusoko kubu ulida muko wano. Noru vanyimo tutuwale mumaso. Tute chende reza nyo. Good afternoon, friends. Uh, my name is Mark Ongom, and I'm going to be supported here by Mr. Godfrey Wandiga to run the non-religious uh, portion of this send-off ceremony. So what we thank you very much on behalf of the family for making it here this afternoon. I know it's been a long journey. Uh, but the family is absolutely grateful that you were able to make it this afternoon. So the ceremony we're going to run right now is the laying of wreaths, uh, shortly after which we will go into speeches. We have quite a number of wreaths that have been for us to have everybody come and lay their wreaths physically. So what we will do is we have a selected number of people that will lay wreaths on behalf of its. So um, we'll start. You want to? Mwe bale nyo ba kungu basi bana fa bali wano. Akati ni na kutambu la bauti. Oksoka. Chuli se kani se chisoka chuwe de. Tuza kwa chunde chioku bili. Gatio gazi ke bimuli ku sanduke yo mugenzi era lisiwe nabagami ndantu ba yeje simuli njaga kupanga tuwandisiza otukuita ajja kuita mbyangu ojote ko chimuli cho ate tugende mmaso nanyi saji sira nyo abantu bonna kusingira dala family ya mugenzi yokana ne aida bunyenyezi dala baganda ba Ezra ne sasa nya abantu benda mutamba fenna olokufirwa kuno Atene sasira nyo, kanisa yeche tume, olokufiruwa mkwista yuwayo. Fena kuze bubi, italo nyo, na ye mukama, ya lia itate ya jau, tuse mukama ze, sobulo kulabanti, tumalizo mkolo gundo ulunji. Mwebali nyo. Thank you very much. So the first wreath will be laid by Chantal and the children. Chantal, if you could please make your way up. Lay the wreath.
Hello, hello. The Chimulet so say Cho, Chicho Muchala Mugenzi, Chantal, Mugenes. I could have one of them, one of it. Thank you, Chantal. The second wreath shall be laid by Ezra's sisters, Mary, Anne, and Ruth. Chimule Chidako, Cha Mary Ruth, Bunyanyes, Evangel Womugenzi, Ezra Bunyanyes. Next, we shall have the Katerebe family. Katerebe family, in-laws of Ezra. Yeah. We are going to have a call. Abako, to much abako. Abatu o muchala Chantal. Thank you. Jolly Bunyanyezi. Jolly Bunyanyezi shall lay her wreath next. Jolly. Jolly Bunyanyezi. Jolly. Ezra's cousins, led by Kezia Kafureka. Twin Abat is the woman Ezra. Gabawe Kid Waba Ba Umkulua we Kezia Kafureka. Name Jim Tekechi Muli. Kusan Lukem. Abo we banabo mugenzi Elisa Gateja bali manyi bulunje Elisa Gateja 
gana ye yomuku bantu abatu bako wano bali bazadde bafe wanabo era nga bakwata bulungi ne bamunyenyezi naye bali nyo thank you now as was nieces and nephews and i know you're quite a number those of you who are close by can come and lay your wreath Kati ya bana bana nephews Abaza bachile abana abavude munda yabanyenyezi Aba banyina ne baganda bwe naye mujje muteke kwe muri As was grandchildren, it's Trevor and Pambara around. Trevor. Ava na balda ita Ezra Jaja. Ujumu teke chimuli ku sanuke ya Jaja. Sam Lukasi tukwe wazi zani yoku wa musicie yo. Gati yako imuli bino. Weba le nyo Sam. Eli and Stella Karuhanga, are you around? Okay. Uh, Olive Chigongo, this is Olive Chigongo. Is she around? Please come and lay your wreath. Sababa yingira wabo yingira soko na bemo ngalo atene mask you take record na bulunji atebe okasanga otula tochu saka tv everybody thank you very much so besides the wreaths that have been laid the family received wreaths from Janet Gisa and family Uganda Travel Bureau then Dungutse family the Muigai family, Mr. and Mrs. Kitili Mbafi, the Makaka family, Grace Munyantwali and family, Mr. and Mrs. Philip Katamba, Honorable and Mrs. Susan Muwezi, Honorable Jim and Susan Muwezi, Honorable Matthew and Shiba Ruchikeire, Mr. Kalimuzo, Mrs. Kalimuzo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Charles Kareva, Mrs. Jolly Sabune, the Uganda Golf Club, Kigali Golf Club also sent a wreath. Mutangana family. The Bafureka family. Grace Bunyanyez's friends. Rutaisere family. Franco Mugabe and family. 
Mr. and Mrs. Norman Shalita, Friends of USA, Mrs. Bazimana and family, Mr. John Nkera and family, the Ntiru family, the Majoro family, Moses and Peggy Kagondoki, Brian and Paula Baingana, the Namutamba community, the Rotary Club of Kampala, the Muvandeza family, Bujingo family, the Karemera family, Barbara Barunji family, Minka Williams and family, and Flavia Nsinga Nsingi Rangabo family. Nsingi Rangabo. Thank you. Yes. So we received wreaths from a number of people, like I said. Unfortunately, we are not able, we don't have the time for everybody to come and lay the wreath. But on behalf of the family, I would like to say thank you. Thank you very much for what you have done. Tufunye muri bingi kuva mbantu banji noti nze kwanga tufunye mukisa bakutya ko chimuri na ye emuri byatuse atera tusabanti kinze butagira na byo na na ye twabifunye Okay and finally before we end the wreath laying ceremony I'd like to invite the church led by the reverend to lay your wreath as well Walau itu 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 muli, jasis simye, sebut tu lefaham macam itu wano, macam orang yang zema atau macam itu, itu muli cah sebut tu lefaham ni. Abah fikir servis macam sembe zema anggu. Walau macam mana cerita cerita, kita buanding ke family, buanding ke family macam macam cerita. Justice, please come and be our guest.
that was a wreath from the Boninga family. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll go into speeches and eulogy. We have a number of speeches uh, to be read, a number of eulogies to be read. And I would request that uh, all the people coming forward be conscious of time. We have been advised by the church that we have to bury by two. So in order for us to make 2 p.m., we need to go through the speeches quite quickly because there are quite a number of them. Tuwela kuiza wako okogela. Nenga tusabanti okogela kuwele mbufunze. Abanti wakono okogela speech. Nguzi ina loza kulisti. Na inga tuwa galanti tuitembwa kubanga. Tuwela kuiza kazi indalo. Aba tuwa so kudeka nga wichari. Anne Karasanyi. Anne, please make your way down. Anne, as you know, is one of Ezra's sisters. Speech is okay, Jacobaya Anne. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Anne Bunyenyez Karasanyi. They always forget it. That's quite true. But my husband is Karasanyi, mm -hmm. and he's a he's a neighbor here. So I, I always have to remind people because I'm the last born. They always override me, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Today is a day of celebration. Today is a day of celebrating my brother Ezra. Ezra was. Uh, He's, he's a man without words. Nobody can... No, 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 no. He's alive. Because Ezra accepted Jesus to be her personal, his personal savior. And he's living in eternity. Kunazisa Manuel Biakola, Biali Birala, Buryomu, Yali servant of God. Ngaba Zatu Bafeva to Leda. That would be better to go under the understanding of And, uh, excuse me? Kakatu Laru is a small Luganda. Anyway, Manuel is on your query, Ubla, where I will give over. Nayans and Nimukas when Nam Tamba, Abaza Deva Fe, Batu Kawano, Mu nineteen fifty two. Naline miaka, bwe jito wwe jito sija babu lila. Mm. Na ye nali baby. Yes. Bishop, nali baby nyo. Watu enka na simanyi. <laughs> but anyway, fena tu azali wa in our own categories. Ne Ezra, e azali wa Burundi, ya jane. Ezra, we atuka high school. We amala high school, naga anze ngeze mbiznes. Na atandiko kola, na atandiko okuyia, na atandiko kole mirimu, na kole la NRM, na kole la... Binji nyobi ya kola. Ababa dewa lava videos zetuata ze 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 de kumukutu, loza mabila vye, ababa mogede kenyo. Sija kubidamu. Ne program, suma nje ya ne, we should have it uh, probably before the end of the service. But Ezra was very unique, he was very witty, he was very gentle, he was very kind, he was very humble. There's a lot to say about Ezra. Nina messages nyingi 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 Arthur Ali Mutaba ni wabi kangaga eri. Wachiga wabama ni waga. Ate fichabi agaladi katuwele ofeka. Na avawo. 
ne ezali yalinga mutabani wa rutachirwa eranga batuka ku gate gaba mukirizanga mutabani wa rutachyo eli Arthur bikanga gazi Siamese twin so Arthur yabadawerezo obubakanga agamba anti amusali dwanyo tali wona nokuzika no kubanga bela Texas Texas ejude covid bananga bena mutamba mbega ilide mbega ilide we muwera mona mambalenga masks Ababa buli anti mambale mask and brothers anti baba baba they don't want you to be relaxed. Masks is really important. Walu obulade abaso abaso nate wabwete gereza bulungi. Neche baba gamba chonda mbega ide mchikole. Ati na mutamba tute kwa kubela honga watata wabwe. Kazimba. Kazimba mugalu. Yes. Ya tugamba mukanisa. Ati na mutamba ajijukira nga yaba ntuba revival. Nga tata ni mama. Nga ba nagenda. Ngaba nyaba lala, ba mukasa, uh, ba kasansula, uh, abalu wega na yali mulokole, si jukira. Wega yali mulokole, ba, na babidi olirudawa. Anyway, this place used to have conventional, Christian conventional meetings. Mchuanda au, ngaba lokole bavya Kenya, bavya Rwanda, bavya Tanzania, bavya Burundi, they converge together to praise the Lord, to continue the revival that started in, in uh, okay, hold on, my memory. In Gahini, thank you. In Gahini, with, uh, with uh, Chivenjeri, eh? Joy, Joy Church, Nsibambi, 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 Alitata, Nsibambi, Yaka, Tubako. Nyo mwami yo yali mukuru mu Kristo ayo mulunji nyo yagamba omuchalo naye ne tata bwe yali ne Ezra bwe yali Ezra bwe yajange na mtamba ngalete chibox cha cha sabuni okugabira abo kuchalo ngaji salama emirundi minji nyo kwezawo biso biso ba na mtamba yali abalokole ne kakati batanso kunyo mwenge wano wansi wa my father in law waliwo obubalao tutye ko kubugo bawo tutye ko kubugo bawo mbega iride Kubango omwenge gutuza mabega. Omwenge banji nyaba ndi wade wanoe bakoye. Kubanga basuze kukachupa. Mbaleke kubanga nobali na. Bali waku ngubaga. Banji nyaba kungubwa gira ezera. Newe na mutamba ambasaba muve kumwenge. Tuwezi imbe tuweze uo. Nzendi, nzendi bize. Nzendi bize na waga mati njaba, njaba no nyeza amazi. Njaba no nyeza amazi. Era galimu kuwa temwela likidira. Kumazo kunuanya, ukulawa sosi ya mazi, era Joyce, Joy, 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 Bukenya, yeah. ah, this has another name, Kutesa. Kutesa. Mm. Nchia tuja agenda tulabe, wea funye amazi agasinga. Kuwanga sosi jetu wali tuso so kulawa, basa nga nchi amazi tikajia kumala na mutamba. Neka kati tuwa funye sosi, badia kutandikuwa kulima, batandikuwa kupampinga, ila na mkama jia kubiongi lako. Atena ange, natandika organization ya abachala. Abachala tuwe zimbe. Mudeo temwe, temwe kuyanga bami wa mwe. Abakazi weba zimba maka. Mchitegera. Mwe zimbe, mukole, umami wajanga akoye mumuleke mwe chari ya yebaki. Nemwe mukole, mulime, mwe zewo, mulide. We need to na wakoye. Ate emiti emitio, emiti emito. Jejugumiza? Echibira. Echibira. Yeah. Ha, mo, can you imagine I can speak even no, proverbs? Very tough. <laughs> very tough indeed. Kakati. Ana, mwabalabi ni mama wawe. Mwabalabi mama wa, wa, mchala wa Jack. Bona wali na abana. Abange omwali wanuesi wanyi wali sawe eno. Nizane kagundi kachai kamu wa medake guru. Sina mulaba. Temu mpavira. Na ye, kithi muamula vye ni grace. Aba sajja wali yao. Jole ainaba sajja. Shantala ali naba sajja. Aba wala ba, ba, ba shantala na ba kazi. Be imira kumwa wala vye bombi. Elu mano muya tukenti. Temufa yu mama nja kumula vidida. Nja kumula vidida. E gulo ngatuli murumbe. Nene waza mukama nti. At least these kids are very grown. They are adults. 
that omutu ya ngapu ya nkubile, na mkubile simu nga nkaba kusimu, tipa nange, no, is it Allah gawa, is it Allah gawa, Auntie Anne, don't worry. We are grown-ups, we are big, we will take care of dad, we will take care of mommy, and we will be fine, don't worry. Ni mpili yanga ampada amanyi. Chantal, I mean Keza, yimili ya bakulabi. Oye ye Keza, oye ye Nshuti, Nshuti, oye ye Nshuti, oye ye Gadi, oye ye Mchala wa Gadi. Mwela ba, ejo jemite mito eza jajoku ni mama wabwe bebo. Mweba le nyo you can sit down. Abange, abala mwabala bie, o mwango muli mwlengi la yakatu kane mwusenyewe. Sima nje ba sibye. Anyway, banange temela likidia, eze la genze, na ya bana bachari wo, o mchala achari wo. Mchala wajia, kane ya ina wajasi, bali yawe, chize nje chawade musati ya kwa iti, tuchita chijasi, nga jaka wa yaleo mjasi. Mukozi ba kozi bona, bona wali very, very industrialized training. Nabe wagateja, nabe wachari wo. Iva ya sudi ya bayi oje yali, ya zimba kawimba kwa yechetu mwa oje tuwa kulida. Ya wa ivo lirudawa. Endereza Yesu, Yesu Oliman, O Musai Gunaziza, Trevaza, O Mulokozi. Kakati batu kene tetuna masawa nyinjo yoko gira. Kande kedao, mbagumia, tuchalina mwe, abe na mutamba. Aba mutulima amerikani, omutima guli wano. Ya kakati wena vange entebe. Walo ekuwa liwazi mbio kubwa kuhaiwe nga nyo. Thank you. Evi gamba tuja kubida mwaku wanga yabiyo kede mwuru gamba mwuru mwuru unji nyo. Anda weba le nyo. Speech ya bade nungi. Elo chikide bando mwuru unji. Weba le nyo weba le dala. Thank you. So our next speaker is going to be Mr. Joseph Katareve. Bado sababu Jack kwa bolu kumpi Jack kaka bolu kumpi jua wano tuyambe kubu ya messages. Thank you. My name is Kroko Katarebe. Chantal is my elder sister. On this occasion, I'd like to start with a little story I heard somewhere about of a man on his dying bed who called a priest. And the priest came over, and the whole idea was <coughs> he wanted the priest to assist him to discuss on what they are going to say on his dying day. The priest talked to the gentleman and realized that the gentleman was having a hard time because all along when he was still alive he he had not achieved as much you know he was a nasty man so he didn't have a lot that was going to be said about him so finally the priest asked him what do you think we should say on this particular occasion he said you know what i want you to say i just died because he didn't have anything to say about him but on this occasion, Ezra is a special man. We have a lot to say about him. He was a good man, a husband, a family man, and a great dad. I met Ezra many years ago. As a young man, uh, I swear. as a young man, just on the crossroad trying to discover something about myself. Then I see this gentleman who walks into our home uh, and I was told oh, he was trying to befriend my sister. I thought of him as a, first of all, I was a little bit, uh, I found it kind of funny because I realized he was slightly shorter than my sister. And I said, hey, <laughs> this man has a lot of guts. But anyway, I said, he might as well 
suffer back. I saw Ezra as a young man, obviously. Uh, he left a huge impression. He was very confident, charming, big laugh. But obviously for me, I thought he was a little bit of a snob. That's what my, that was my assumption at that particular moment. And I said, why is this man so confident? And this is a question I kept asking myself. But later on, we had an occasion. And this was a special occasion as well. When he decided to marry my sister, obviously, you know, my mom being my mom, <coughs> told me, you know what, Ezra loves this country so much. He talks about Uganda, he talks about how he loves this country. So my mom told me, you know what, you should do please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ezra, Uganda. And when you come back, tell us something about him, whether it should be comfortable to have him as a son-in-law. So I was given the job of going to learn a little bit more about Ezra. This is where my life experience with Ezra begins. Because on the drive, we were with, uh, he was with his friend who was uh, then the ambassador of Uganda to Russia, I think called Taliwak, if I'm not wrong. We drove from Nairobi to Kampala. But when we went to Kampala, the first thing I noticed about Uganda, obviously I had my bike, because no, this is where my dad was still like an animal. In 1972, so I had a bus in my head uh, during uh, a new era. But I had a bus, but when I was driving, and what Ezra had told me about Uganda, all I could see was this beautiful country, very green. And as I got into Kampala, people were very friendly in those days, but uh, a little bit intimidating because there was a coffee going on. I quickly realized, although Ezra was a fun going, with a lot of humor. He also had a very serious side to him, which I started learning when I met him. One, the, the following, the first, on, the, on, on, the, on that Monday, when I woke up, I realized Ezra had already had breakfast and left for work. So he was a man who always woke up very early. That's a quick example I noticed about him. And dressed smartly, as uh, Eli said, this is a man who had style, obviously. Then I no quickly noticed the other thing about him. Every evening when we drive back to Tank Hill, Tank Hill had a, a little slum neighborhood in those days. In the evening, we'd visit them, and Ezra, Ezra would make sure he goes there with drinks, and he'd talk to his neighbors, neighbors who were not doing well. So I realized he had also this, this softer side. Although Ezra's image was a man who loved living high. He had a very soft side about him, which I started appreciating and learning from him. Number two, number three, not only that about Ezra, I realized Ezra has a very serious side. People always see Ezra as a man who's always joking and whatever, but he was a focused man, always thinking, always a thinking man, always a thinking man, but at the same time, a gentle person. Even when you had an argument with Ezra, not even an argument, a discussion of different uh, ideas. He'd always try to make you feel at ease. Huh? He was always humble enough not to impose his ideas. Huh? This is something about Ezra. Ezra was a really special, special gentleman. And from that, his uh, work habit, his love of his nation, and I remember in 1986, I remember telling him, you know, Ezra, I'm immigrating to Canada. He turned around and looked at me and he said, Croco, I don't think it's a good idea. You should stay. At that time, uh, NRM has just taken over power here. You should move in with me. We're going to work together. I'm going to get you married. You'll get a home. And I'm thinking, my God, go to Uganda, get married, get a home, settle. I said, no way. Because obviously, first, first and foremost, he had, told, he had taught me the love of his nation. Why is he trying to encourage me to go into and love somebody else's nation? I had other things to think about. Anyway, I opted to, to go to, to Canada, somewhere very far away, where I would, be, I would not be bothered. 
But it was a learning lesson. When somebody teaches you about love of your, your, your country, it's an important lesson. That's another thing I learned from Ezra. Finally, you know, Auntie Mary said such an important thing. You know, like people tell, him, tell her, Ngo Murjango, Wabunyinyezu Ashiz. Tagu Ashiz, there's the sister, there's the niece, nephews. And more importantly, I want to tell the guard, Shuti, Keza. Huh? Forget about even just saying Bunyinyezu. You even have a Katarebe. You have brothers, you know, you have uh, cousins. We have sons, we have daughters. We are a big family. Huh? That's your family. I know something about you. You're great kids. You'll never fail. You're going to always be a success. People shouldn't worry. As for my sister, I know. My sister, I want to thank my sister. She loved her husband. She took care of her husband when the husband was sick. But it didn't surprise me. My sister is a special woman. Mm. You see her? That lady. that lady, after high school, she had to go to university. She refused to help our family. She's a tough woman. So don't you feel sorry for that lady. Her mother was a great woman. When my dad was killed, she took care of my mom. She's a special woman. Always there, giving, giving. She's a very special human being. Chantal, we're with you. Ezra left you a lot of good friends. But even you have a family. You have Uftiwan, you have Turuka. Don't worry. Keza, Muftiwan, you have Turuka, Namwe. Mufte Hench, Nawagad, Nashuti. And finally, I want to thank everybody in the name of the Katarebe for the support you have given Chantal and Ezra, the love you have given Chantal and Ezra. Asanteni sana. Murakoze. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Oyabade Muko. Muko Domiwa Womugenzi Ezra Bunyanyezi. Omi mogu mpeleduwa no simu wangu kubanga evi gambo mkobi ya yugedo biza muwarife yoro limi uruganda. Neka angeze kubanga ambe da chika eseke nzingana. Aine mbozi jale sena agamba. Ezra tali ngoyo ataina mboze jamu ogeru wako. Ezra abade musajja angaya gala avantu. Abade musajja wa mutima mulunji. Abade gala nye guangalie. Na agamba uloche mpulide munti. Abadi so determined okubanga mmalilivu Elache echa muanguzisa no mchalo yo mulunji shantala Kubanga muganda watu gambi Alita looza Nti Ezra kusaizi ye Yale sobolo kuangulo mchala nga shantala Ne umalilivu Umalilivu ya liyaina Mwa msobo sokolachi Okuangula omchalo mulunji Tunyole duanyo Tusubiduo muntunga Ezra Mkominiti Na ye alaze family nti waliwe suvi Ezra wabaa genze Mujia kusigalanga mulimwena Era mujja kubera wonga family gadi nshuti uh, keza abagambi nena mtamba wamwe mukomeo mtlago mutima ngugwa Ezra thank you so much thank you very much and joseph thank you very much spoken truly from the heart thank you now as you know Ezra had a lot of friends uh, and we are all testament to, uh, to that one of his friends uh, is the uhuru kenyatta the president of Kenya. He's a very good friend of the Uhuru family. And Uhuru Kenyatta, the president, has sent a message that is going to be read to us by Ambassador Catherine Mugai. But as she comes here to read her message, I would like to invite the whole Kenyan contingent that has come down to say goodbye to, to Ezra, to come with the ambassador to lay a wreath uh, on behalf of all the Kenyan community and then allow her to read the message. Thank you. Walu wa bako bubude e Kenya, wa presidenti wa Kenya, na yeda anga mkwa no nyo, wa bade mkwa no nyo kwa Ezra. Te Ezra jabada wa angali na kuzinu. Na ulechu ambasada wa Kenya to Uganda, agenda kuteka kwechi muli, 
Nuri Mansemero Ubaka, Ovodi wa President uh, wa Kenya, Uhuru. Sorry, not Ambassador of Kenya to Uganda. Ambassador Catherine Mwangi, who I believe is Kenya's Ambassador to South Africa. Yeah. Ambassador wa South Africa? Kenya to South Africa. Ya jeo ni kujia wano kujia kundiri. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for showing your love to Ezra. To the clergy, Chantal, my dear sister and dear friend, your children, God, Chebet, Keza, and our Shuti, Ezra's, Ezra's uh, sisters and family, and indeed all of us friends who are here to celebrate the life of a great man, Ezra Bunyanyezi. Yesterday, Keza told us that uh, indeed we must give her father the respect of celebrating his life as opposed to coming to mourn him, because indeed he lived a life that is worthy to be celebrated, and that is what he would expect of us. I stand here really in three capacities. One is a friend of this family, and especially a friend of Chantal's. Chantal and I were in school together in high school, many, many years ago, a demonstration that surely we have known each other a long time. Indeed, Chantal is really my sister from another mother. And those two women synchronize their birth so well that Chantal and I share a birthday. We are both born on September the 4th. To you, Chantal, my dear friend, my dear sister, and to your precious children, I'm sending you very warm love, and I'm committing as I stand here to stand with you during very, this very challenging season, and indeed in the months and years ahead. Secondly, I stand here in my capacity as a member of a group of women, what we call a chama in Kenya. In Kenya, every woman belongs to a chama, and Chantal is no different. We're in a group of eight women, and we are called the Riziki Sisters. And um, your sister Chantal asked me to come here and be with you on their behalf, and to express to you their love, and to express to you their bonding in our sisterhood. They ask that um, you remember why we called our chama Riziki. Riziki means resilience, and uh, it means that whatever is due you, whatever is yours, will be yours, no matter the circumstances. So they asked me to remind you that, and to tell you that as God promises, no matter what circumstances you're enduring, God's presence, comfort, and grace are sufficient for your needs. And as a Christian, everything you endure has meaning and purpose. And finally, to tell you that they hope you feel surrounded by much love and that they are sending you healing prayers and comforting hugs to you and your blessed children. And finally, I stand here in my capacity uh, to share a message of condolences to the family, relatives, and friends of the late Mr. Ezra Bunyanyezi from His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya. As was said, Ezra and President Kenyatta had a special relationship. 
they've had a friendship for many years. And he asked that as he knew I was coming, that he would wish me to read this message on his behalf. And I read, it is with deep grief and deep sense of loss that I send you this message of condolence and encouragement following the death of Mr. Ezra Bunyanyezi. Mr. Bunyanyezi's death has robbed us of a great leader, a prolific African entrepreneur, and a true African Pan-Africanist. He truly lived his vision, fulfilling the saying, I quote, your time is limited, so don't waste it living somebody else's life. Because of his conviction that time, that time is a limited resource, he consistently came up with ideas which he fervently implemented to provide opportunity for others. His vision was to bring prosperity to the whole continent of Africa. Ezra's tenacity and courage enabled him to overcome all odds to excel and become one of the most successful African entrepreneurs of our time. His unique ability to understand the challenges facing the African continent and his strong work ethics propelled him to great achievements. His name was synonymous with discipline and success in all the countries he set his foot to establish business. We particularly appreciate his commitment to connecting and creating lasting relationships amongst African people. This endeared him to many and opened the gates of intra-African trade and entrepreneurship. We in Kenya are beneficiaries of his vision. To us, he proved to be a reliable and true friend who built strong relations amongst the political and business community. As a country, we cherish the role Mr. Bunyanyezi played in positioning the media as a key channel of championing the African integration agenda. He took time to set up successful radio stations across the East African region, which have helped in building strong bridges of friendship amongst our people. His influence contributed to the formulation of policies and guidelines that promoted trade within the East African region and across the continent. Indeed, his dream was fulfilled through the creation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, the AFCFTA. We also appreciate the fact that Ezra's inspiring leadership created thriving enterprises with the enviable reputation for quality in all the countries where he set up businesses. As we reflect upon the high standards he espoused, we cannot forget of the many benefits we enjoy as East Africans in the field of hospitality and media sectors. We also cherish his philanthropic work that has benefited many and we are proud to have been associated with him. At this hour of grief, we join in offering our condolences to the family of Ezra Bunyanyezi. To you, Chantal, God, Chebet, Keza, and Inshuti. We assure you that the rich legacy that Mr. Ezra Bunyanyezi has left behind offers both as inspiration and challenge to all those who aspire to emulate this great Pan-Africanist. Evidently, Mr. Ezra Bunyanyezi was blessed with many unique attributes and a productive life. He touched the hearts of many people in many ways. To them, I know they will miss his wise counsel and guardian, guidance. To the family, as you mourn the death of Mr. Ezra Bunyanyezi, may our prayers and those of other people of goodwill give you the strength and fortitude to move on. And as Christians, may you take solace from the word of God in Psalms 73 verse 26, which says, and I quote, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. 
May the Almighty God arrest Mr. Ezra Vunyanyezi's soul in everlasting peace. Signed, Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, 28th December, 2020. Rest in peace, our dear brother. Thank you very, very much, uh, Balozi. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Webale Nyonyabo. Mubufunze, Ezra Siye Musajja, Abadomu Tinyenyo. Uruganda Rutufu andi muiso msaje nja sabigu. Gobolo zanti wabadosu idwa nyo msaje na mtamba. Looza kubako vudo ya wa President Uhuru. Okuve Kenya. Abade no mkwano mungi ne President Uhuru. Abade ne viloto. Evi tumbula. Evi ovu suvuzi. Mu East Africa. Ama wanga anga Uganda. Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania. Nenga inechi lote chisubila. Okutumbula evi ovu, evi ovu suvuzi mu Afrika yona. Nurecho bobo yogera ku Ezra. Evi lungi biyalese. No mkulo gualese. Ezra tayenka nika. Tusubidwa nyo. Tunyele duanyo, uh, ambasada yoge devi nji, na ye sisobo la bisa mara izinga venane mara olu waka sera ketu ina katono. Ne mwebali, ni mwebali le dalo. Thank you. The next speech uh, is from another friend of Ezra's, and I'd like you to come down, uh, Faith Makaka. Faith Makaka. Is she around? All right. Good, e good afternoon, celebrants. Musiwe mutia Uganda. Mungiri we abavandi mwe. Nishuti za zaje kutabadira urugo vuko abinyezi. My name is Faith Mbabazi Makaka, and I came with my brother. Derek Ndungutse, uh, because our relationship with Uncle Ezra is as old as we can't, we can't tell. But I can't remember a relationship with Uncle Ezra without Derek, the Makakas, and Ndungutse's. My heart and our hearts are heavy. If I cry, please excuse me. I come from a family of criers. As one of my colleagues told me, and from my dear aunt Chantal, Gad, Chebet, my sisters Keza and Shuti, crying is an outside, is an outward expression of inward emotion. Let it flow. My, my heart would be heavier if I didn't say a word to honor Uncle Ezra. The word that has come to mind all my life, and I, as I have grown up and had put a pen to it, is authenticity. Authenticity is defined as not false or copied, genuine, real. And my favorite des definition that defines Uncle Ezra is representing one's true nature or beliefs. Uncle Ezra took the road less traveled, and we're all a testament to the fact that it has made all the difference for him and for us all. Uncle has been a loving, unparalleled human being, uncle to my siblings, who drove with my sister to her wedding when my mother and her sisters we're about to make her late. Uncle Ezra said, Sarah, you cannot be late for your wedding. And he took charge, as a father would do. To Uncle, family was everything. And he taught us that. My personal history with Uncle Ezra and Auntie Chantal is I met them one evening at a, one of those annual Rotarian gatherings. As, I, as I, I was a young high school student, and we had started the Intra Club in Nabisunsa. 
and our motto in Rotary is service above self. In this motto, Anko found a brotherhood and a sisterhood that shared his vision of a better life, of a better world, to serve above themselves, to give without expecting, to love without boundaries. For me, more so, as I've grown, as I've appreciated Anko, it has been that authenticity and the business acumen. His advice, and for many of us sitting here, has given us confidence to be leaders, to listen before we speak. And when we speak, it must be with unwavering confidence. To be leaders in everything else, whatever you may choose, I know that Anko expected us to lead. When I moved to South Africa, Uncle Ezra asked Auntie Winnie to take care of me. Auntie Winnie and I lived in the same apartment and it is sad, but also a moment in life to be back here. Auntie Chantal, Gad, Chebet, Keza, Shuti, our love for you doesn't change. It actually only grows. Our job is to love you more in this hour and going forward now more than ever. We will not make promises. May our actions of love speak louder than our words. Uncle Ezra, I pray that your authenticity, love, selflessness will lead us in a life that will do you proud. Uncle Ezra, what I do Fare thee well, Uncle Ezra. Banafe Mubufunze, Walabanti Uncle Ezra, Abademukwano Guabanji, Botunurida Derek. Ne mwanyina, bantu bamiaka mitonyo na hivu olabanga, batu, batu buli didanti, omukwano kwa Ezra wakaba dalaga bantu, no kwa gala, bandi ya gade balabenga na fenabali wano, tugenda maso, no kwe isanga, Ezra wade weisa. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Faith. Uh, next I'll invite Keith Bunyanyezi, and shortly after Keith, uh, will be Yoni. So Yoni, please get ready as well. Keith? Is Keith there? All right, Yoni, Yoni Bunyanyezi. Good afternoon. Uh, it would be wrong, and Chantal, Keza, Shuti, God, it would be wrong for our people here not to understand what I have to say. So I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd like to ask a translator yeah, sure. to, <laughs> to work with me here so our people can... Keith, uh, what is the word of Uganda? What is the word of Uganda? We've lost a father, friend, uncle, brother, and a true statesman. No, 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 I'll summarize it. We've lost a brother, friend, uncle, father, and a true statesman. An honorable gentleman has rested, and we truly give thanks. 
Uncle Ezra fought long and hard. I had recently traveled to Nairobi on a surprise visit to see Uncle Ezra. I arrived on the day he was being discharged from hospital, so I waited at his house in Westlands for him to arrive. I came out as he was being assisted out of the car, and when he recognized me, he said, Pa, ah, leave me alone. My security is here. I was, unfortunate, I was fortunate to have conversations with uncle that stretched far beyond from listening stories of my father to talking about women business. Uncle Ezra was a very, very good businessman. But time is a very crucial thing. Our time here on earth is limited and Uncle Ezra made a very good use of his time. Everyone sitting here is an illustration of the time invested. Quite frankly, that is the biggest investment one can make. Ezra managed to bring people from all walks of life together. And being the patriarch of our family, he always made time for family. He was big, extremely big on family. And whether you have no blood connection to it, rest assured that anyone we loved. I'll conclude by saying time is a limited resource that must be used wisely. Uncle, thank you for sharing your time and this gift. I will always remember the conversation we had in your living room and I'll cherish this gift. To Auntie Chantal, God, Keza, Chebet, I love you all very much. Uganda, Kampala, Mitiana, name it, we're here for you. The final thing I'd like to say is your, your service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. Everybody can interpret that differently, but uh, when you go home tonight, remember it. Your service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. And Uncle Ezra served a lot of people. Thank you. Yoni Abantweva Zemuruganda. Beba Zemuruganda. Mchinyaranda. <laughs> well, uh, Mubigambe Bifunze Bia Yoni, Leoni Asuidwa Nyokfira Anko. Ade Taina Muntugwe Nyumiriza Munga Anko Ezra, Abada Mwabula Kuyobu Subuzi, Memi Aka Jemula Beja Yoni, Arabi Kanga Atuso Kubanga Naya Tuali Na Mirembe, Anko Ezra Abada Muyambako. No rate change. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yoni. Thanks for those wise words. Um, Another friend, another good friend of Ezra's, uh, who has just joined us, uh, Colonel Kiza Besije, uh, is here with us, and I would like to invite you to say a few words. But as he comes down, I just want to announce I've got some messages, uh, written messages from the Uganda Golf Club and from the Rotary Club of Kampala. Both of them, uh, Ezra Bunyanyezi, who was their member, and also expressing their heartfelt gratitude to the service that he gave them while he was alive. Doctor. Chitafe mkataonda lewa na dini mwena venju ya muganda wa fe atukude kumaso wakungu bazi mwena God is good, and all the time. Yes, that's his nature. Please give him a clap. I feel particularly, you know, lucky to be here to say farewell to a very dear friend. It's lucky because in this particular season in our country, usually I wouldn't be here. And uh, maybe I wouldn't be enjoying the kind of freedom that I'm enjoying. So I'm very lucky today that I am able to fool people that I had chance to interact with.
I have known Ezra since the early 70s, 1970s, when I was a teenager. I went to school with a, a person who was a close friend called Duncan, who I think was Ezra's cousin, or rather nephew, a cousin, a cousin, and it was in 72. And um, Duncan went on actually later on to work with UTB, but died young, died quite young. And so from those known and been with Ezra, and as you all know, whether you are young or old, you only need to sit with Ezra a short time and you feel like you have known him all your time. Like he's, a, 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 you know, family. He gets you to feel as comfortable and warm with him like no one else can. With Ezra, you will learn something and learn it in a very, you know, interesting and warm way. Most times accompanied by humor and jokes and stories I've never seen a storyteller like Ezra. You know, telling the situation, he had a story and he had a joke. And uh, so over the years we've uh, lived with Ezra, we have, uh, you know, benefited so much uh, from that association. I have literally become family. Uh, you know, Chantal joined us when I was with Ezra. I saw Keza, I saw Shuti, and, and all these uh, wonderful people come to their family. So, uh, you know, he has, he has used his life as well as I think anybody could. Um, he, he has, uh, uh, I think, the, the kind of legacy he leaves of friendship, of uh, service to others, is uh, uh, frankly unparalleled. You know, we live together in tough times, good times, uh, and uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's such, uh, you know, an honor to talk about a person that you deeply respect uh, and uh, deeply love, like we did of, uh, of Ezra. Uh, Chitalonyo, uh, Chantal, and uh, the family, uh, but uh, we shall always be there as family. Thank you very much for honoring Ezra. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Doctor. Uh, I'll invite our last speaker for the day uh, before I invite Keza to give a vote of thanks. Uh, our last speaker, Eli Karuhanga, I saw you come in. But before you speak, uh, I'd like to invite you to lay your wreath as you walk down. And as you do so, I'll read a message that has come through from Ambassador Moses Sebunya, written to Chantal. A condolence message to Chantal and family. I extend my sincere and deepest condolences to you, Chantal, the children, grandchildren, and the whole Bunyanyezi family. Chantal, I know that the time, at this time, uh, in these difficult times, these are difficult times for you, as you have lost your partner of many years. I would like to give you my condolences. Uh, I know that he did his best to love you unconditionally. God, Keza, and Nshuti, you are the proud legacy of an amazing, wonderful, and great man. May this comfort and strengthen you as you continue to emulate your wonderful papa's great deeds. A man, he was a man with an enormous heart of gold, exemplary honesty, 
hearty and infectious laughter. And it goes on to say, very much for your love and nursing care. To the children, no words can express my gratitude for the love and care you showed my beloved brother and friend. We shall all remain uh, from Ambassador Moses Sevunya, written in Bugolobi on the 28th of December, 2020. So it's my honor to invite uh, Honorable Eli. Thank you. Uh, Eli, we've been um, advised by the church If that, I'm uh, the last speaker. Can I, can I say we've been asked by the church yeah, to, to ensure that we bury by 2 o'clock? Okay. So we have a very, very short time. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I stand here to one, where Ezra was our past president. Three, I have been asked by the prime minister, I think three times since morning, he called and said that the Honorable Nabakoza is going to be Nabakoa, is going to be coming later on, but that is after the speeches. So he has allowed me to stand in on behalf of the government if Honorable Nabakoa has not arrived. So let me start with my 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 own situation. I want you to know that. Me and my family, my wife Stella here and my children who are all over here, are part and parcel of this home. And Chantal and the entire Bugenese family know that I'm a brother and a friend and a son in this home. Those who might not know, Nzena and the best man were Ezra, attending a good father, now, how did I win that title? I won it from having proven to be true. It has to be nurtured. We have a, a proverb, Ngobzari Bobagarwa Amaguru, that relationships are nurtured by your legs how you keep walking to see your friend. Many a time, Ezra has been all over the world and I have been on his side. Whatever business Ezra has tried to do, many of them, maybe 80%, have tried to do them with him. So friendship, you must be consistent, you must be persistent, you must, be. and that is what has been going on between me and this family, and Ezra. This, Ezra was part and parcel of my family. But let me not go very far with me. Let me thank the people who are not being able to come here. There are many, many friends of Ezra who are contacting me and contacting many of you from all over the world. They have been seeing us on the link, on the internet. Since Nairobi, since yesterday, and right now, they are listening to us. I want us to clap for you people who are listening for us in all corners of the world. Thank you. Second, I want to thank the people of Kenya. They are represented here. I don't know whether they have been asked to stand up before I arrived, but I think they were. I want to thank you so much for exhibiting so much friendship. The way you took care of this family, the way you entered this family, the way you looked after Ezra in hospital, the way you contributed money for his bills, the way you conducted the first funeral service in Nairobi at All Saints, the speeches you made, the entire leadership, opposition and government of Kenya, the children of leaders are here. Pre President Uhuru is represented by a whole ambassador of Kenya, South Africa, and his whole family who are here. I want us to clap for the people of Kenya for what we have. How did Ezra penetrate a society like Kenya and become so deeply entrenched? Ezra, Ezra, he took me to meet the vice president of Kenya called Kariuchi to explain why the movement must go to the bush. I, I had dinner 
with the vice president of Kenya. Ezra, when they co captured Barak Kiria and brought him here, Ezra took Matthew Shikeire and all these people who were in Nairobi, in exile, who were going to be kidnapped and brought here. He took him to Mai Kibaki. Twice it appears in, in Rishikere's book where he gives testimony to Ezra's work. Let's clap for <laughs> Ezra was in Rwanda. He participated in the Rwanda war. I know that for sure because many times I found President Kagame in Ezra's house with Chantal in their house in Najanankumbi, in the middle where he was hiding. I know that also that he participated in our struggle here. A UPM. And also in my own struggle, small me, when I was trying to be a member of parliament in Yabshuzi and I succeeded. I remember the plane he used to fly all over Yabshuzi and mesmerize the people there <laughs> who had never seen a plane with words from heaven saying, vote Eric Aruhanga. <laughs> let, me, let me cut that short. I am here to represent the Rotarians. He was past president of Rotary. I have been asked by my Rotary Club to talk yesterday, but I could not because of the pressure. I am now here taking advantage so that I don't go, to go back to Rotary and they kill me. <laughs> but let me tell you, Ezra was generous to the hilt. He gave what he didn't even have. He promised what he didn't have. And he made good of his promises at Rotary Club. <laughs> he made his absence in Rotary would look as if we are orphaned. Thank you, Ezra, for what you are. Thank you, Ezra. Now, I represent, now I have the awesome duty <laughs> of speaking after the Colonel, she's a message, to represent President Museveni. <laughs> out of timing, <laughs> out of now timing. And Chiwanda and Honorable Chiwanda, they are all with President Museveni, but Naoko is struggling to be here. Yeah. But I have been instructed to say the following, that this government, and also confirmed by General Tumwine, will give and honor Ezra as a hero of our revolution. <laughs> and that that is a commitment, and that when the day for giving the hero's day comes, please be there knowing that he is going to be declared a hero of our struggles. Number two, I have been instructed to inform you, fellow mourners, that His Excellency the President was so pained when he heard the death of Ezra. Ezra, who, and his brother, Emmanuel, who gave a car which looked after his family when they were in exile in Nairobi. Ezra, who participated in looking for tickets for them to go to, to Sweden. I have been instructed to tell you that Ezra has been a pillar of our revolution, and he thanks the entire family of the Bunyanyezis. I'm sure that if they had given me time, I would have read, but his speech is coming to you, Chantal. And the president has instructed that I announce that he is making a funeral contribution to these expenses of 10 million, that the Honorable Gunda also sent his contribution to you, Chantal, which I have already passed on of 1,000 dollars. Now, that having said that, now what else is there to say? But the amount of words I have for you cannot be lifted by my hands. There are many. Why not? Why? We have enjoyed life together. We have lived together. We have shared the little we have together. We have produced our children together. We have married our wives together. We, have, we even went on honeymoon for your, you and your wife together. <laughs> have you ever seen a person carrying a person to a honeymoon? I shared this with Stella. We traveled long distances. We have never quarreled. The last word is you said, thank you very much, my daughter. She said, Uncle Eddie, do you want to speak to Papa? But he can no longer speak. I said, you put him on, he will speak to me. She said, okay. She put him on and said, this is Uncle Eddie, Uncle Eddie from Uganda. And then he said, I said, Ezra, Ezra, I love you so much. And then he said, 
Eri, Eri, Eri. Those words will never leave me. Never, ever. It signified a big statement of our friendship, of our brotherhood. He was my Siamese twin. When he left my rib three days ago, I fell down in a bathroom and almost collapsed there because Sarah wasn't there to pick me up for about an hour. And I went to an x-ray and th thank God I had not injured my hip, but it's strained. That's why you see me walking the way I am. Part of me has left me. Ezra, the struggle continues. You have not died. You have left Shuti. She has your voice. She has you made her go with you to British Airways. I found her at the age of three talking about air tickets. <laughs> you have left Keza. You have left, you are in 36 countries in business. Keza is running them perfectly. You have left God. God is with Keza. You have not died. You have married Shabet. You left your son with a wife. We married her together. Thank you, Ezra. You have left Chantal. You have left us. Thank you, Ezra. You have gone like you should go. I didn't want you to have so much pain because you didn't deserve pain. You deserved pleasure. God bless you, my, my brother. When you meet Jesus Christ, who is 20,000 years and 20 years and three days, tell him to look after you and to look, take care of us, those of us who love you. And then with all those people who are lying here, whom I was privileged to do what you are doing, because I was always the master of ceremony on all their barriers. Greet them for us. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have I met expectations? <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay. No. Thank you, uh, Honorable Eli Karuhanga. Firstly, for being brief. Uh, thank you for that. But mostly for the words that you have given us uh, yourself. Thirdly, representing, representing His Excellency the President, and most importantly, to your brother, Ezra. Uh, I would now like to invite Keza, as the last speaker of the day, to give a vote of thanks. Keza Bunyanyezi. Good, good afternoon. <coughs> um, oh, this is tough. But uh, in, in when I w when I uh, gave the vote of thanks in Nairobi, I must admit I was so much stronger than I am today. Um, but here goes. My name is Keza Bunyenyezi. I'm Ezra's daughter. Dad, and behind me is his wife Chebet. Um, I saw a, a verse in the Bible, <coughs> first verses 15 to 16, f to 18, six, oh Jesus, Thessalonians 16 to 18, and it reads, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will in Jesus for you. Um, auntie, no, not auntie. S somebody said yesterday. I, s you know, we've been we've been addressing each other as fellow mourners, and I said I said let's celeb let's address each other as fellow celebrants. Um, that is the rejoice always part, ladies and gentlemen. Bava um, I I, I uh, you'll forgive my handicap in protocol, but I really truly believe that today we are all here as Bava and Dimye, family and friends. Um, we, we rejoice. We rejoice that is life. Pray without ceasing. 
and I thank you so much for the calls, the messages, the emails, the visits. Thank you so much for praying with us the way you know how to pray. <clears throat> and then it says, give thanks in all circumstances. This is a tough, tough situation to be giving thanks in. However, I do give thanks. I give thanks, to, first of all, for being here with us today to honor my father and my friend, Ezra Bunyanyezi. Thank you. Thank you for putting on a mask and sanitizing and getting in your cars and distancing and all of that to be here to stand with us and to honor him. Thank you. Um, Daddy, you know, um, we've all, we've heard so many stories about how generous he was. And indeed, um, he, he had a heart that honestly, uh, you know, I don't know how we're going to feel. It, anyway, it's going to take all of us, all four of us to fill that, sh those shoes because Daddy's generosity was, uh, unmatched in in my opinion my humble opinion um but he also had a deep sense of gratitude that he gave without expecting in return and so when he did receive he really oh it touched him you know um so much so that you know to to uh, in his last weeks and days anything you did for him he said, whatever whatever you did for daddy he said thank you so it is in that spirit that I stand here, that I gain the strength to come and say to you, thank you. Um, uh, I, I, know, I know for a fact that mommy would be standing with us here to say thank you, but uh, we are doing it for her. <coughs> we are strong for you, mommy. Okay. Um, and um, mommy's heart is broken. Bavandimge, mommy's heart is broken. But she wants you all to know, and I shared this with our families in Kenya, she wants you all to know that she is at peace. This is definitely not an easy time for us. Um, but daddy, daddy went through a very, very difficult time, and uh, we are at peace that he is resting. <coughs> um... As you all know, we live in Kenya. I, I, I don't even know what words to use to thank the variety of people and families and the like that we met in Kenya. Daddy had great doctors, um, really, really, truly great doctors. And, and, and in, you know, Ezra's magic touched them. I, 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 I'm telling you, Ezra's magic touched them. And by the time he left us, they too were his friends. They, um, they you know, it, it, Ezra's magic. You can't, you can't resist Ezra's magic. And they really gave, um, they went above and beyond to serve Daddy, to treat Daddy, to look after him, to, um, and dedicated a lot of commitment to them, uh, to him rather. Um, I, I believe, and I, there's a lot of people here who can correct me. I believe Daddy's first time in Kenya was in the 60s. Um, and I, uh, from then to this moment, he, he, we, we, we are at home in Kenya and really carry the message back home. Thank you so much for receiving us, for loving us, for welcoming us. Um, I, I, uh, there's, a, there's a tradition, a Thanksgiving tradition in the U.S. And when I went to school, I quite liked it. I didn't know about the pilgrims and the, you know, I didn't get into the details of it. But the spirit of giving thanks where a whole country stops for four days and they eat and blah, blah, blah. But really, it's about giving thanks. Um, and usually at about this time in the year, we host, uh, we host people at home um, to, to give thanks and to tell them thank you for receiving us in, our, in your country. Um, we are foreigners there, but we definitely don't feel like foreigners. So I want you all to know, ladies and gentlemen, Bavan Dimye, I want you to know that Ezra was loved in Kenya. 
he was received in Kenya, he was respected, and he was honored in Kenya. Don't feel, he, oh, he was away from home. He was at home. He was very much at home. Um, who else? What? One moment. <coughs> Then there's other countries in the world. Um, so we know that this is Daddy's home. Um, and so I want to thank you all, all of you. I want to thank you so much for sharing Daddy with the world. Daddy found home in, uh, in, in many countries around the world. And every room that he walked into, he was received, he was loved, he was respected, he was honored, just like you did. Just like your, your daddy was your ambassador. He was the ambassador of Namtamba, of Kampala, of Uganda. Everywhere he went, he told people where he's from, you know. Um, and daddy loved Rwanda as well. I, 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 you know, the people at home in Rwanda, because you stood with us. And I thank you so much. Um, I, I hope there is no doubt in your mind that Daddy loved and appreciated you. Um, I would like to thank God. I'd like to thank God for the family that he gave us. I'd like to thank God for my father. I'd like to thank him for the kind, humble, generous man that he was. I would also like to thank God that we got an opportunity to nurse Daddy. Um, I, you know, I, I was telling Shruti how how I, f I feel honored. I feel privileged. I I feel privileged to have stood with Daddy in his time of need, as he has stood with many of you um, when you needed him. And I want you to know we gave I, we gave it everything. And dear God, I thank you so much for giving me that time with my father. I really, truly, truly thank you, Lord, for that time. Um, and we, we are so grateful for that. Um, Daddy, if you can hear me. Actually, I know you can hear me because you had a great sense of attention. Um, thank you. Thank you for loving us, for celebrating us. Thank you for cheering us on and always, you know, boasting, almost boasting about us, always telling people, my daughter this, my daughter that, my son this. Then my brother married a doctor. You, I, I can't even tell you, you know. Um, so, Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Daddy, for loving us and most of all for loving Mommy. Thank you for loving Daddy. Thank you. Basebo ne wanyabo bakungu baziba nafi Habana wano bagumye nyo watu ganyo kaba Bagambie tetube langaba taina suvi Tata alimunsi ensuvi ze Nene unyi zulu zungu walu sobe ngaba Babalo gede ngaba sobe le namtamba Nese unyo kubele wava namtamba Basebo ne wanyabo habana batula zomu kwano Gwava dene tata Tata bamo gede kubi inji vierele Tata Abade tata mulunji, nga abagala, agale nsie. Mm. Nenze neunya Uncle Ezra, nga Uncle Elibu Agambi. Uncle Ezra, bumsanga nga anywa kachai ne Dr. Chiza VSJ, Mzuri. Bumsanga movement, Mzuri. Pagende Rwanda, Mzuri. Kale notifiri duo muntata sangika. Mufunze, muna anso nywa sobola kuda, kudingana na bigambo. Kwa mkolo mwenimu kwa nguwa kusamarizinga. Na ye... Oboli yao, uh, obwako obusemba yao. Beba nsabi enso me. Yeah. Uh, uh, obwako obusemba yao wena asoma wano. Uh, Dear Chantal, God, Kezia, and Shuti, it is with a lot of sorrow that uh, we learnt of the death of our Lord and we, in turn, we love Amtamba Parish uh, to our Tuwa ulilo kufa kwa Muganda wafe, Ezra Bunyanyezi. Abade monsi, e, e, zenja ulo, naenga ayagala nyo na mtamba, ilano kumanya evigenda maso, kukanisa eyo.
abagide kanisa ya fe atuwadde sente nokutola emirimu era abadde ne kirowozo ekyo jigazia kale tusalidwa nyo tusasidde mitwalo ebiri zabuli eyana mu mukaga ebagumye grace mutalamira omukubiriza we kanisa eyo Um, ah, uh, but uh, njagala okutwala mukisa guno okwebaza mulimu guno. Twagala kusaba kuzayo uh, omukolo guno eri kanisa mbade ne, ne Patrick Ngom, anze uh, Jack Kaka. Kama yeba ziwe, wabula yo edachi kanya okwele sao munana, kakati fabacha chitu genda kutandika, na ye familia tegeza sawa munana, kale wetu nasula mwobude, temugamba antichachi erudeo, mukama yeba ziwe. Njaga la mune gateko, tuanilizomu la bilizu wabula bilizu no, OHT wa the right reverend Dr. James C. Bukomeko, tulina ye wano, atu use ngabo ya suviza. Era tuwa anilize chaplaini wa mulabilizi, Reverend Moses Semugoma, atero mwanika wa mulabilizi. Sebo, wa mulabilizi, nzikiriza mudachi ikemu, wali wa mwana avakuno, atekwe ya kulida nivano, ba Ezra. Asabia ye dachi ikemu, atosoku sasra, yangu wana. Tukute tende reza. By social standards, there would be no way that I would relate with Ezra and Chantal. But Ezra and Chantal respected the fact was connected to their parents. I was always here in this family. Katunda, oruo mukisa okumanya Ezra. Nuwankuwa debi sede bisinga tuwama nya gananga mbiseda bizibu bechiba awo nga nkubi resimu. Edalu mu tata wakenda na tuuka leti mudua liru. Nangama nti orudewa. Nali indi wakanalisi simu wa zaati zinaba kujanyo. Na ye neba za katunda oruo mukisogo. Abaganda bagamba nti boboli nendongo tewera bila lukoba. We cannot talk about Ezra without talking about Canon and Mama Aida. Kubanga because of them Ezra wali. Na ye kisingo obukuru chechigambo chobulokozi. Tetuyinza kuva wano nga tetuogedde ku kigambo kya bulokozi. The East African Revival. Uh, uh, an agezeza kwano okuchoge lako. Na yo kusinga wenyate Ezra muna kuzezo uruvanyuma na kilizo kwatu okuloko ka. Echo wewawo azekuru bimbingo budde bugenze na ye mpera ye yemu. Tukute Tende reza yesu, yeso ma, mana gwandiga. O msai, sai guna ziza, nevazi, o mulo kozi. Norecho boboli wano, ngatolo kukanga. Nenga na urudewo, ngenemi ya kajigenze, njaga la kuza muamanyi. Nti abadja kutano, Naba jia kukuminemu empera yawe, Ezra agenda kufune empera ye oloku kilizo kulokoka. Tuwe yanza kanoni miwanda. Edasabo wechitibo mlabilizi, muda chike munzi kiliza mpite, muda chike mu omukubiliza obulabilizi. Yangotu soku sasa, la kunoru vanyu matunafuna Bishop Emeritus, Wilson Mutebi. We tunaba tumaliliza, tunayimilida. Walu uli imba wano familia uli yaya gade nyo kupeji number two. 
himu eyo yetujyo kuyimba eteka teke mukadde wa FHT bo mulabirizi Dr James Bukomeko ya agenda okutubulira okutusako bwaka Sebo kitafe mukatonda biso fwa fe ebiso fwa yumura abakuru wonambi tv ya mwe kama fwa yaziwe nyo njagalo kuswa kwa byonna okuswa kwa za katonda olwa ezilo kulokoka kubanga fwa na tuliwano olwa kanon yokan ne aida Winyezi, avala ga ezira, na akule mikone mirundi. Ani abade yogira wano, abade, e, eh, aida nga yogira anga. Nga nevika wabiru unji nyo, nga viwomu. Ani, ya vitu wala. Ni dobo ziri ona. Tuwe za katonda, kubanga ezira, agenzo kuita mbra wuno, na agenda, na, na atewe golo. Neo kulo kubra vizibu ona, owe mitian diocese, Utuwa di setano. Njaro kusasire nyo njini dara. Ani, Ruth, Mary, okuibibu wako mwanyina we. Tuwa tu tumula wanga kanoni. We nyezi. Tuwa kusasire nyo mchala na wana vuna. Chitalo nyo. Na ye kubange wafufe na wa mguru. Kwa lechi wena tuwa tuwewa za katu, tuwe katu onda. Olo kujia kutuwe kia ko. Eza mkama wafe wa ziwe nyo. Aba we avalide e chiche njini. Njanga maliriza. Nganzo mkuza wa kustayo. Mba kupa akama. Fena fiba tambuze. Oba gwani owa gwani. Ogenda. Kubanga tamla wansu eksikiriza achachi. Echo kufa. Na inga mba wama gezi. Gawa gambu wa kolinso. Timu tamblenga na magezi. Gamwe kevera, gamu tuokiride, gamwe ninya, gamu longoza. Uloke mwa onjuli wenti vana vaita mpona vana ukuli okunji, okwensi. Gavela masu wa katonda, javada vela maso go. Buli muntie na gana kubasu wa katonda, nitu na yesu yeka, yumuliza wafui. Mkama, amen na mwe. Mwchisera chino, katuanlize Bishop Emeritus, aje atubu zeko. Then sings my soul. My Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou then sees my soul. Mukado of Fe Omulavidizi, Right Reverend Bishop James Bukomeko Bakungu was even now game when now Wano, where truly Murujaru no Era Makagano, where Womugenzi Yokana, Bunyanyezi. Era no mshara we aida bonye nyezi. Tuwa bila na bwa no e banga dene kubanga fe tuwa jia okuwe rezai mitiana mumwa ka ogwe kina na mumwenda na e tuwa ite tumani ba bonye nyezi na e bwe tuwa jia wano tuwa manya nyio ba bonye nyezi era tuwa kora gana. Nabo nyo mubigambo yo kuweleza. Wano na mutamba buwa mroza angako. Eda ngoroza. Ne yokana bunyenyezi no mchara we. Kale. Chari cha kusari luwa. Chari cha naku nyo. Bubatu vako wano bombi. Na e. Tuwa sigaza ezera. Eda. Abana kale mbalabi wano. Eda ni na muandu. Na ye nga tuweba za katonda kubanga ba tulekera ezera. Atina ina atukola buru unji. Buli nsonge ba deguwa wano. Nga ezera tumulaba. 
ngera kuye kwe tusibira rukoba bo yatugenda ko jwano ne tupuna uh, obubako obwo twasalirwa nyo 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 okuberanga ezera naye aumude naye ke twebaze nyo katonda babu nyenyezi bakolera nyo ekanisa bakolera nyo abantu bafuwane na mutamba era no bulabirizi bwo no kutwalira awamu era bakuza bulungi abana era nze nsanyu senyu wano bwe mpulide an nga yugira kuluwa banne nga era tegeza bakadde beke bali kale bali ke banja dene nyo abazadde fenna yetugwana okwegomba ero kola eri abana ezera nga mwano mukuru kale ba mukuza bulungi atera ku nkomerero ya byonna muli do bujulirwa nga yaloko kacho twebaza nyo katonda nze ne mama twake de wano e, nyo tujje tubere wano kuluna kuno lwalero tusibule mukwanu gwafe mu ngeri yeyo kai tugamba ndi kitalo na mwandu tukusasidde na abana tubasasidde ne mwenna abazzo lwalero nga bakungu bazi tubasasidde kitalo na yate e, wano mu bible mukama afa gamba temwera likiriranga kwegamba embera yo ne inzo kugwao oleme kwera likirira kubanga mukama afa Yesu Kristo yajja yajjo kutasa mu bulingeri yonna kale katugume kubanga munafe alukoka nafe tumanyi mukama afa Yesu Kristo tubere bagumu jagenze nafe je tugenda era tujja kuwangula kale mukama abere namwe kama yebaziwe Saba tu imirire fenna tu imbolu imba family yate sitese group popular oloku biri let us all rise up on our feet we are going to sing hymn number on page number 2 luganda hymn nalioka ne kusenga gwe being led by the pianist then oluva nyuma tujja kufuna okubulira okuveri omulabirizi wobulabirizi then after we Nalio kane kusenga omuloko zikatonda chivudensa nyukanyini e, sanyuse yesu yana zake bibi Ya ya gara asa enna ku sa nyu se sa nyu se yesu yanna sa ke bibi e danna sa ga sa ga
kama abere na mwe katutule tuulirize bya wandikiwa bine bitukuvu kitundu cha fula eyo mukaga tujja kutandika no runyiriri ore 10 no from the book of galatians chapter number 6 beginning with the verse number 11 murabe mwe gwemba wandikide munna kwenene no mukono gwangenze bonna abagala okwewo mereza mubiri beba waliriza okukomererwanga chokabale menga okuyiganyizibwa olwo musalaba gwa Kristo kubange era nabo benyini abakomererwa amateeka tebaga kwata ne bagala mwe bagala mwe okomole bwanga bali okebe nyumirizenga ku mubiri gwa mwe na yenze sagala kwenyumirizanga wabula ku musalaba gwa mukama wa Yesu Kristo okomeredwa jendi nange eliensi kubanga okomole bwa si kintu ne wankubadde obutakomole bwa wabula ekitonde ekijja nabobo na abana atambuliranga muteke elio emirembe jiberenga kubo no kusalirwa ne kuyisa ili wa katonda okutanula ka akano omuntu yenale me okunteganya kwa kumubiri gwange ekisa kya mukama wa face kristo kiberenga wa munomo yoga mwe abo luganda ina tukute tende reza Yes. Ah, sebo mkado wa fe, omulabilizi bishop mutebi ne mama, aba umula, Uh, Sabadinkoni, wena mutamba, uh, abaweleza mwena, okuva mbulabi lizibu no nebuwe wabulabi lizibu no, tuina kanoni se mambo, ne ya umula, uh, kanoni wanda angono avamu uh, kampala daisis, Plina no muwanika wabulabilizi, Reverend Semugoma, mkubiliza mumulabi yao, ababulizi bafe, bonaba ze, naba kulembeze mkanisa. Njagalo kusoka vino kubeba za HT wachemuwa de, familienu, urebi afayo. Ale saba ntu wakatonda mwena okuva mubitundu ebi okumpi ne wala. I want to take this opportunity to welcome even those who have come from outside Uganda to come to stand with this family. Thank you very much. I want to thank God for bringing us to stand with this family during this difficult moment we are going through because many people fear to come to gather like we have gathered here because of COVID. I thank you for coming to be with this family because of their long history that the family has in matters the bishop testifying talking about the parents of Ezra for the great work they did not only here in Namutamba 
but in East Africa. Um, Twagala. Era kanoni ne mama ba mnyenyezi mukama abasa sudde oromwana wa bwono okugenda je bagenda echo no kirabo kirunji eranja gatudde mu amanyi fenna abali wano tetutia orenso nganti Katonda, akoze, era akole de family enu. Aju, ebiru unji vyo nebi mwoge duwa ko. Buli mtuwa zewa na yuge de ebiru unji vya akoze ichi. Vya akoze. Takole de family ye yuka. Ni akole de Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, obulungi bwe bonu tuteyo. Njaga lukweba za katonda. Olwebi ya tukolede. Walwebi gambebi njaga la kanoni atusomere. Nyenda kusoma Timoseo eyo kubiri esula nya enyiriri musamvu. Ti nuanye okuruano kurunji. Orugendo ndutusiza. Okukiriza nkukumye. Kakane chisigadeyo. Engule enterekedua inakuruli asali misange jensonga. So sinze nze ka. Na era nebona abagalo kulabika kwe. Mukama eba siwe. Ezi kumye nyo ebiru njebio vyo na biyako ze. Ni hati na afirwa okutiki wachi engule. Sige nda kuruwa o nyo. Na inja gala kubajukiza vujukiza. Abantu baka tonda. Si wano tuli waka sera kachi. Chinja gala kubajukiza. Tui nzo kule bintu e bilunji mwusi. Ni tuwe la vila. Nti tuge ende wa feruda wa muguru. Ilani tuko makubilunji bie tukoze mwusi. Njaga kupa saba. Mwena bali wano. Wadobu debu wede yo. Njaga la kupa saba ichi intuchimu. Nga tuli mwusi nga tuko zebio na. Tujukire tugende wa feruda wa. Netuwe rabira. Tituli batambuze. Nga ba jaja feo na wakulachi. Mwebali. Jenso nga wachi mula babi yonoe bulusi nebigenda masa bantu. Nga ba fila nyomu bjensi. Aba antu. Baga lukwe tegekera. Obu gaga obu sukurumie. Obu gaga siki bi. Tucha agala. Nengo rusi baga na obu gaga obu talibu achi. Aba antu. Nga tepama nyi tuteke duwa uo. Okuyamba. Aba antu. Aba lala. Okoli da aba antu aba chi. Aba lala. Kwa anga tituina chila chuduna. Tesu wano. Chichikuru echo. Bichibia tukoze. That is the accountability. Ngaba ntupa imidio kutegeza. Bicho muntu ono. Bia kore dechi. Abalala. Sibi ye kore de ye. Bona bade wano. Bade mba uja baganda be. Na muri anga. Muri Christmasi. Norecho no baseo ni banyavo. Yonabe tuko la tuleme okwe koliri la fefeka. Katonda tutadewo. Obeko choko la. Echiri kubuzibwa. Umaso gani. Ga kato itebu isi mchi. Munsi tugende wa femuguru. Chetu watu singo kuyaya nila. Kwe kutikirwa achi. Kwe kutikirwa engule. Njaga lukuchi sabida buli mtu yena. Averenga kwe kuyaya na kwe. Singa tubeda necho. Gwao. Ebiru njibi yonabi gwao. Netu genda kubuzi wolu na kurumu. Ate tu chechi sinzo kusa njisa kuezira.
Tini wangu wa denga ya kiliza ngechisira chikozechi. Chiwede. Na ya teche njaga dokuwe bazera. Bakade bafi. Abagi enda. Abana. Bae zio vuta, vuta loko kerea olusi. Na ye value. Zituteka mvana bafi chikuru nyo. Abachi manyi. So our children. Let us take that special gift also our father took by accepting Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior like our grandparents. They did a great work to change this area in matters of faith. Wherever you are, they talk about that name. That is a great name. We need to emulate and take that special gift. Let it be in our family. Let us not just go anyhow as if we are not coming from that great family. So I want to appeal to all of you, members of the family, and the friends of the family. It's a special gift we must go with because one day we shall stand before our God to give accountability of our lives. So we are very grateful and thankful to the Lord for our brother Ezra to take that wonderful and special gift and let us not miss also taking it up. May God bless you and strengthen you. We shall always remember you in our prayers. And our Jesus is going to fill that gap. That is what he does. He fills the virtue. We are not going to be left alone. Our Jesus is going to be there. Always look upon him for whatever need. Please tell him. Let him know he will be there. Because when we read the Bible, we see that when Jesus was still living, he also lost his friends. Among them is Lazarus. When you read that story, it's very interesting. It was a difficult moment when Jesus lost his friend Lazarus. I call it, I think it was COVID-5. This is COVID-19. And that's why Jesus was not able to go to see his friend when he was seriously sick. He died because... It was not very easy to rush to go there. And even when he died, he was not there for burial because of COVID-5. After four days, he appeared. Praise God. And the disciples were stopping him to go. That they will kill us there because they left when they, were, they wanted to, to stone them to death and went to another city. So everything happened when Jesus was away. But later Jesus told the disciples, we must go and be with Mary and who? Martha. And so Jesus appeared. They told him he was late. But Jesus told them, don't mind, I've come. Because... I am the what? The way. And what? Life and resurrection. Praise God. They were saying, oh, you have come late. Jesus is never late. He will be there for you. He will strengthen you. 
and comfort you, our children and the entire family and the wife. May God bless you and let God bless this area and the church. God bless you. Let us give the Lord a mighty hand clap for the wonderful sermon we've received from his servant. Right now, we are going to give thanks to God as the family prepared here. Tugenda kweba zakatonda, nga family wa yasavye. Ezra, neta, tabayine mili muje kanisa jebali ke na mutamba. Mukama yeba zwe. Noru vanyima wali waba kuru wabaka tuka. Nja kusaba muganda wangono Jack. Nja muita, haba tuanjulile. Kubanga antegede konti wafude muofisi mkuru nyo. Mukama yeba zwe. Let us all raise up on our feet and sing him on number on page number two, O oh Lord, my God. And I've been informed that it was one of Ezra's favorite hymns. We are going to sing it, and I would request the pianist to set us a very beautiful tune as we give in our offertory joyfully. joyfully. <laughs> We don't want to kill this beautiful order that was made from the beginning, okay? Oh Lord, my God, on page number two. Oh Lord, my God, when I'm awesome. Oh Lord, my God, when I'm on some wonder, consider all thou was thy hand as me. I see the star, I hear the roaring thunder, thy path throughout the universe. Then sings my soul. So, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Stanza number two. When thou thou wilt. And forest glad as one, and he the bird sings sweetly in the tree. When I look down from lofty mountain glad, I see the bowl, I feel the gentle, then sings my soul. How great thou art, how great thou, then sings my soul, so my Savior go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Let's repeat the stanza number two. When know thy woe, and full is glad I wander. I hear the bell sing sweetly in the tree. And see the blow and feel the gentle Then sings my soul, my, soul, my, my Savior God. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul. How great thou art, how great Let us re Let's repeat it aloud. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior. Come on, wave to Jesus as you sing. How great thou art, how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior. How great thou art. How great thou art. 
soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God. How great thou art, how great thou art, thou E.N.C. E.N.C. No, we will change, we will have to Katusabe, tukwe baza nyomu kama katonda wafuru Ebila wenebi kuwele dua Okuongero kolo umuli mugo Mukanisa yo, mbusaba dinko nibuwa mbula bilizibuo Tukwe baza, ilatu sabi labuli muntu Sechi no mua wadeyo Muo mkisango kwe taga kwe kuli No ya ata wadeyo na ingo mtima kwe guagala Neetu msabido mkisa Kale binazo bitukuze Obiwo mkisabi kolo umuli mugo mkanisa yo Gulimizu wa wichitwa netendo mjesu kristo mkama wafe Katutule Mkama yeba ziwe Nja kusaba jaka jewa no Waliwo bantegeza abakulu abakatuka atenga bavude mu office nkulu abantu anjulire naye olwobudde atenembera nga mujimanyi munsi bajja kuyimuka batu ubire ko buubizi kubanga waliwo mukulu yatu wadde do kogera okuva mu office zonna mu central government nabo gezibo na bayogedde tusubira nti tubadde bagumikiriza nga church ekimala Yetuagala kugama anti chachi ya tuluisiza sawa munana nezifuka sawe mweza haka unge zile tuwazise. Kale Jack, could you please introduce... Masanyalaze <laughs> Oja kula baby fan na nyibyo nebya family. Siwe wao. Nebo ko saka biti yango so kula baby fan na. Then next dala ban seven singa tuzayo muzindali de kanisa. Twetaga family members zibo ka. Tuli mukasera akazibo aka covid. Covid atta banafe. Mubelebe gendereza nga mask we no recho. E mangao tuja kukiriza yo family members. Ndalo tono mukitabu no kwaniza. Captain 
Yes, thank you so much. Um, You turn this back page of the order of service book, scan the QR code, you should be able to see all the photographs uh, for the family. And I've been reminded by Keith that uh, everything that is happening there will be uploaded to link. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to kindly request you when we turn back to the clergy, we shall only allow family members to go uh, and the clergy. Basebo nebanyabo, buendabi e nyonyinga, eh, yeto lola wano, omzungu chaita navigation. Chinzi jukiza a great man lying there, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Jack, the best paratrooper ever Uganda has ever produced in the 1970s. He happens to be coming from here, na mutamba. Nendo oza nti, ah, Captain Mike Mukula, aka kagundi ya kukova deko wa doso volo kubuka munga wakua gabi ya Kubade kumpinyo. Netu kwa niliza. Chiba chabuli ya zama ni asinga. Nteka kazi ndalawa asinga. Sikuise sebo yogere. Jangu otubuze ko. Kale. Kakati neka nise complain inze. Uh, Munzikiri zenate. Neva ze. Kampala group. Uh, led by my good friend. Bob Cabonero. Wherever you are. Where are you? Bob Cabonero. Muko zomuli muguamanyo. The Kampala group. Mweva le nyo. Mweva le dala. Ne church. Okuvaje tu avude. Uh, thank you so much. Allow me to take you back to the church to proceed with the service. Mukama eva ziwe. Eorobu de mutsasi de abogezi ne imu natu sanyu sanyu kubalaba. Ne wanu waliwe tuwale se. Njagala kusaba kanoni beno ni oyimirideko. Oyo yabade wa kuogera. Ama nyibi nje bifa wanu. Be yomuku bawu la baka denyu muna abeda. Bwayogera kuna mutambo kubali ya tandi. Katata tusanyu so kulaba. Tusasile nawe sivo chaprain mukama yebaziwe. Nsaba tuyimirire. Let us all raise up on our feet and we shall sing hymn number 318 as we proceed to the graveyard. Tuyimbolu yimba bisatu muku minamunana nga tutuwala omubiri gwa mkwano gwa fe ezi labu nyenyezi mnyumba ye eyolu verera. Oh, kasoke tuyimirire. Fena, tunyeze oku kiliza kwa fe, kubama kaga no getuli muga kukiliza. Gatunyeze nzi kiliza ya fe. E ya batu mekupapula uruwasa tumumuenda fe. Na wamunga tugamba ati nzi kiliza katonda chita fe. Ainza biona. Ne Yesu Kristo mwana umu yeka mukama wa fe. E ya zali wa mwala atama nyi musajja mariam. E ya leolu buto uruomu yomu tukufu. Na abo nyabo nyeze wako mirembe japoti yo pirato. Na komereruwa kumusalaba, nafa, nazikibwa, naka emagombe mbafu. Runako roku satu nazuki na mbafu, na agenda mguru. Atude kumukono gwadeo gwa katonda chitafa inza vyo na. Na ye alivayo okoma wo, okusalo musangu wabala muna mbafu. Nzikiriza omoyo mtukuvu, kanise ntukuvu ya bantubo na elebu na wona. Nokusechimu okwa batukuvu, nokusonyi webibi, nokuzukira kwa mbafu. Nobula mbuta guwao. Amina. Nga weba sabi yetu jakubera yoba toneri. Aba mwagala, elaba mutianga gamba nti, muje, aba na chitange, beya uo mkisa, musikile, obwaka wako, waba teka tekelua, insizo nanga tezina bao, otuwebio, tukwe gaide, aichitafe, uo kusasila kona, kubwa Yesu Kristo, omuoleleza, era omunumizu wa fe. Ayu mukama wa fe, Yesu Kristo, wakaba kumutana ya lazale, ya kubagizabo, nabali wafiridua, tukusabo, tunulire nechisa, 
abazadde abana ne mikwano abo olugando no ezira mutera kino ekyo kuvibwa ko omuntu wabono ekirabo kyabwe kino ekyo omuntu ono obagumye obakubagize okusinga byonna wabere okutegera anti katonda yawa era katonda yajjawo ebyo natubisabye kububwo omulokozi wa fe Yesu Kristo ekisa Emirembe ya katonda ejisingo kutegera jikume mitima ya fe mukumanya katonda era no mwana we omuyeka Yesu Kristo mukama afuna mukisa kwa katonda kitafe no mwana no moyo mtukuvu omukisogo gubere kifochi na wagala mido muduo Ezra gubere kubana be mchala kubo luganda kube mikwano era omukisogo guba kume ngo kubanyweza no akade ngo muduo mukamo muyise gwabere nga wabera Maria mune Maliza nga bafiridwa Lazaro nabano mukama bachalire era tuwayo nebyo nebigenda okusigala nga bigenda maso omukono gwa katonda gubibereko nente kateka za mwezo nna gulema kutuva ako gubere kubana baba bakade bafe bakanoni bunyenyezi nabazu kulubonna Nabo Luganda, romu li mugu batu kwa liru mune nenyomu chitu ndu chino. Kale mugabano mkisogo, na mume yongi lukube ila avalunji. Elo kwa lila katonda. Kwa banga, avalunji, kulabi ya wibu naba genda na vyo. Ule moku wafa koka kano, ne mirembe jona. Mubafu, ngaba wangu, tabala bebe. Yava muma gombe gomu wanguzi Na vero mula mwe mirembe Yevale, yevale, yevale ya 